and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel guys and finally we have a game to talk about. It has been a long long time it feels since Barca were last in action but right here we head to San Mames in the Capital Ray and this is a big one and of course today we are going to be talking all about Xavi's expected lineup with particular emphasis on Sergio Busquets given the backlash of course after El Clasico we're going to be talking all about that. Of course, there's going to be plenty of news as well on the Dembele situation with his future expected to be decided one way or another today. And we are going to have all of the predictions and exactly what we can expect. It's coming right up. So let's get to it. Because indeed, guys, in our first match here after, of course, El Clasico in the Super Cup, I think what we have to do is follow up on all of that good potential that we saw from Barca and in that performance against Real Madrid. We've got to keep that momentum nicely building and especially now continue where we left off in that game, apart from, of course, in terms of the results. I think that's the really key thing now. Moving on into this game, it's a big one away at Athletic. They're a tough team to come up against. And what we absolutely have to do now is take that next step in turning those promising performances, all of that potential, turning all of that into cold, hard results. Making sure that at the end of these games, we keep mentally strong, we keep focused, and we get the win. We make that progression. And that is going to be absolutely key in this game. Of course, in a cup game like this, there is absolutely no room for error. And like I say, it does feel like a long, long time since that Real Madrid game. It will have been in total by the time we play eight days in total since our last game. And I think that certainly can work in our favour in terms of recovery in terms of resting up and preparing for this game. And especially when you think there about Athletic Club. They, as you can see there, played the final of the Super Cup against Real Madrid. They lost in that game on Sunday. They then had to travel back from Saudi Arabia. So there's no question about it. We should be the team in better shape. We should be sharper, fitter coming into this game. But Athletic, as you can see, are a side who can get big results. They can turn up, especially in their home stadium. And of course... We've got to take them seriously. And I think when you are looking at this Barcelona team, and again, following on from that performance against Real Madrid, one of the players that I'm so, so excited to see once again is Pedri. He was absolutely magnificent there on his return from injury, coming on in that game and really, really shining. And I think also, guys, many of us will have noticed the difference there in his physical appearance. Because as you can see, during his time out on the sidelines there in that lengthy absence with injury, Pedri, he wasn't just sitting around. He actually gained there four kilos of muscle during his time out injured and I think that speaks volumes there about the kind of person that he is the kind of professional that he is because even though we couldn't be out there you know on the pitch playing he was still absolutely determined to use that injury time to use it in the best way and he looks in absolutely brilliant shape here and I can't wait to see him again out on the field and that's a big talking point especially there in midfield because obviously as much as we did play well in El Clasico and the feelings mostly were good off the back of of that game. One player who's not really enjoyed the best of weeks is Sergio Busquets, who has received a lot of criticism there in the aftermath of El Clasico, after of course he made the costly mistake for Real Madrid's opening goal, which I think really at that time in the game really put us on the back foot. That's a mistake that a few years ago, you'd never see Busquets make. You would have never seen Busquets lose that kind of focus, not be aware of who's around him, so that was really, really poor goal to concede there. And of course the question now, coming into this game and coming into future games, is going to be is Busquets going to remain in the starting lineup? Is Xavi going to keep the faith? Is he going to be in there all the time? Is he an undisputed starter? And I just want to start by saying that I think Busquets isn't useless. I think to sort of cast him aside and say that no longer can he offer anything to this team, it would be overstepping the mark. It would be going too far and an over-exaggeration because Busquets can still do a lot of things very, very well. What I would have to say though, what you do have to hold your hands up and admit, even as the biggest Busquets fan, is that right now he is on the decline. And it's only natural. He's 33 years old. Barca have to look to the future. We can't be saying right now that Busquets must play every single game, that he's the centrepiece in everything and that we can't look to anyone else because what sense would that make? You've got to now look at progression. You've now got to look at replacing him in the long term. Of course you have. And I think it's going to be interesting to see what happens in a game especially like this because you look at Athletic, the kind of team they are. They love to play on the counter-attack. They've got players there like the Williams brothers, you know, Inyaki and his younger brother coming through right now. They are lightning quick and they will 
hurt you, and you need somebody in that holding area who can cover the ground. Now, of course, people will look to Frankie de Jong, and he, of course, is the obvious person to step into that Busquets role. I do think de Jong still has a lot to prove as a single pivot. He didn't play in that exact role at Ajax. He was playing in a two, and that begs the question, maybe if you're going to replace Busquets, if you're going to change things around in that midfield, do you structure it a bit differently? Not only having de Jong in there on his own, but actually partnering in a double pivot with Nico Gonzalez. Those two players, they could complement each other, I feel, very, very nicely. But that's what Xavi has to figure out. We've got Busquets right now. I still think he can give to the team in certain games. He can use that experience. We can use that ability that he has in that area. But for me, it won't work anymore in every single game. You've got to look at who we're playing. You've got to look at the players that he's going to be coming up against, having to defend against, and then make a very clear decision on what's the best route to take. But of course, guys, when you are moving onto those forward areas, we've got to talk about Usman Dembele. Now, unfortunately, we've had to talk about Dembele nearly every single day since that Real Madrid game. That's all there's been. Without any games, it has been all about Dembele and this saga that continues to go on. But tonight... Maybe the end of that, because Dembele and his agent have been given a deadline by the club. We simply cannot wait any longer for a confirmed answer. The contract offer that has been on the table for many, many months now is still there, but it will only be there until midnight tonight. So by the end of today, this saga, one way or the other, it's going to be done. And that is why right now Xavi has actually delayed the squad list announcement for tomorrow's game. He's delayed it until tomorrow when the squad will leave for Bilbao to give Dembele every possible chance to sign the renewal but if there's no contact and the club believe that they won't be they don't think that Dembele is going to be interested in signing this renewal if there's no contact at all with him or the agent the club will see that as the end of negotiations like everything is done it's over there's no going back and then We'll go to the next step. Because Xavi in his press conference earlier today said that if Dembele doesn't renew, we will have to look for a solution. He said we've waited a long time for his decision. Almani has been in talks there with his agent for five months in total. So today we must come to a final decision. We cannot wait any longer. He said I don't personally contemplate sending Dembele to the stands. So he said we must find a solution. Dembele keeps telling me that he wants to renew but he doesn't sign. The message is clear. Dembele renews, or we look for an exit this month. So everything right now indicates that Dembele will not feature against Athletic Club on Thursday. Also, the signs right now are as much as the club want to move him on this month, as much as they do want to get him out of the club, Dembele still is firm in that he doesn't want to renew, and also he will refuse to leave in the January transfer window. So we're going to have to wait and see how all of this is going to play out, but by the end of today at least we will have some sort of a final decision. But in terms of the lineup for tomorrow's game, this is personally the way that I would go in this fixture against a very dangerous counter attacking team that Athletic Club are. Because personally, I would opt there for Ter Stegen over Neto in the Capital Ray. I think right now we need to go with our best option. Neto was not convincing against Linares. We also want to try and get rid of him. I don't really know why we would play him in this game. Danny Alves for me has had a nice rest and he will also start again at right back I'm sure Araujo and PK at centre back that is undoubtedly the best duo that we have available at the moment Jordi Alba at left back but then into midfield and I would actually look there to maybe experiment maybe I would go with Frankie and Nico and look at the way that setup works against a team like Athletic I would certainly put Pedri in there from the start of course you've got great players to come off the bench if you need them you could bring on Gavi and of course Busquets would be there although I do actually think that Xavi will start Busquets in tomorrow's game and then I would look to the attack I think we are going to see again Ferran Torres starting in this game I cannot wait to see more of him in a Barca shirt I think as well we're going to see Ansu Fati that is incredibly incredibly exciting and then up front we have an issue because Luke de Jong is suspended carrying over from his time with Sevilla he is still suspended right now Memphis is suffering with injury problems so up front it's going to be Ferran Jukla leading the line with Ferran and Ansu either side. Look at that. And in terms of the predictions, Barca fans right now are feeling hopeful and confident of a win against Athletic. But I think many of you are thinking, OK, we're going to win. We can do this. 
but it is going to be tight. It is not going to be by a massive, massive margin. We're going to have to work hard and perform in the way that we did against Real to win in this game. And as you can see here from the channel members, plenty of shouts for a 3-1 victory for Barca. Some even go in a tie there as 3-0 and 4-1. So plenty of confidence and plenty of optimism, especially there when you're looking at our young and exciting players who again here can really, really ignite this game. And for me, I am going to say, and this is going to be surprising, but I think Barca will keep a clean sheet. I think we're going to actually do that in this game, and we're going to score twice. Barca 2, Athletic nil, and we can advance to the Copa del Rey quarterfinals. Let's hope we can, and let's hope we follow on and really kick on from that Real Madrid display. Let's do it, and let's do it together. Please leave all your thoughts and your predictions, your expected lineups, all of that good stuff in the comments down below. And please also do let me know your thoughts on that debate about Sergio Busquets in the holding midfield position. Would you start him or would you look elsewhere in this game? And of course, the latest on Dembele. What are you feeling about him right now? Let me know that down below. I will, of course, see you tomorrow for the big game itself. But until next time, as always, Vishka, help us. Uh -huh.